Welcome. I'd like to show you a common problem that you're probably going to run into when you're using Insight. And you can see it demonstrated right here. I've entered this material into a recipe and this asterisk in this column and the lack of any kind of chemistry down here indicates that Insight is not able to find that material. So the first thing to do when this happens is just to make sure that you're not misspelling it. And So I'm going to click on the MDT button here and then down in the filter I'm going to type 169 because I'm looking for Johnson Matthew Frit number 169 so click there yep sure enough it's not there okay so I'm gonna click done so now I want to add this to the materials definition table of insight and there's a number of ways to do that so the first thing I need to do is get the chemistry of this material in order to be able to put it in here and oftentimes the simplest way to do that is to simply Google it and I've typed in the name of the material here, click search, and oftentimes you'll see that the Digital Fire page at the Digital Fire Reference Library it'll be the number one hit on Google. And so here is the material. Now this is definitely the place I want to be and you'll see why in a few minutes. But first I'm going to build a custom MDT in my account at digitalfire.com and you can see that I'm already logged in here. So I'm going to go to the Insight page and to do that I'll just click on the dragon here and here I'm going to click Download MDT and here I can add materials so I'm going to type in 169 and search and this is what I want so I'll check that I'm going to click Add and you can see that I've been here before I've added all of these other materials as well and then I'm going to click the starter list of North America and so these are going to be added to that and I'll just leave the other ones at the default and I'll click generate and there's my MDT and then I'm going to right click right here and I'll go save link as because I'm going to I want to put this file into the doc my documents folder which is here and inside documents is my insight folder and notice down here that it wants to call it 2-45 and this one in brackets is because I already did this before and it wants to make a copy so I'm just going to take that off click save and yes I'll replace it and now that gets downloaded so now I'll go back to Insight here and because I've already downloaded this table before you'll notice that it's present in the list here in the MDT pop-up list if I hadn't done that I would need to quit Insight and restart it but anyway, I'll just choose it here and now watch what happens. Now the asterisk is gone and we have the chemistry down here. It's being found. So that's the first way to customize your own materials definition table. Now to do it the second way, I'm going to switch it back to the standard materials definition table and you can see now again it's not being found. And then we'll go back to the reference library page and if you go further down here, notice this XML for import into Insight. So I'm going to copy that, being careful to get all of it. Then I'll right click, choose copy, and then we'll go back to Insight, and I'll go to the MDT. I'm going to go down to the Fritz here, and choose a Fritz that I know I'll never use. Uh, there's one right there. And then I'm going to pull down the menu, and I'm going to choose interpret XML from the utility menu and I'm just going to right, or I'm just going to press control V and it pastes in my XML and then I'll click interpret and there we have it, it's pasted in and I'll click OK and after I click OK it calculates the percentage analysis right here and now let's compare this with the numbers that were on reference library page it's just a bit further up here and you'll notice that if we that it says 9.1 percent 9.1 2.3 2.3 but if you look at the formulas here 0.123 for the BAO and here it's 4.03 now why is that it's because Insight did not unify the formula when it put it in here and this is actually done on purpose um, because if the numbers are bigger 
then you don't have any point zero zero ones and so it tends to be more accurate now if you absolutely wanted to have a unity formula here anyway you could do that all you would have to do is type these numbers into these blanks and then when you click OK then it would calculate the percentage analysis and it would equal that uh, but I actually don't recommend that I would say it's better just to leave it like this now let's look at another way of putting it in there I'm going to enter this analysis as if it was a recipe okay so I'm just gonna close this and we'll type in BAO 9.1 and it appears in the recipe and then I, CA I don't even have to type the whole thing because it'll recognize it NA 19.2 ZN 5.8 AL 2.3 B2 28.4 and SiO2 34.9 now if I set this to three decimals and we compare this unified formula with what's over here you'll see that it's the same 0 0.123 0 0.123 now in the recipe details I'm going to type in for the description Johnson Matthew Frit 169 and you're going to see why I do that in just a moment and before going on I'll just point out that if this material had a loss on ignition it would be shown here because the formula weight and the oxide weight would be different and what I would have to do is I, in the calc menu I have to choose override calculated LOI and I'd have to put it in there but that is not the case here so we're going to be okay anyway I'll open up the MDT dialog and we're already on the Johnson Matthew Frit record and so from the utility menu I'm going to choose get formula from recipe calculation it says replace the definition of the selected material with the results of the current calculation titled Johnson Matthew Frit 169 I'll go OK so again they look the same 1.207 for SiO2 1.207 SiO2 and then I would click OK and then click done and then when I would put that recipe back in I'll just I'm just going to type frit169 put in 50 parts and again it's found okay now the last way we'll click the MDT button and in the utility menu there's an item that says export MDT as CSV CSV stands for comma separated values and that is a format that spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel or, or compatible can read and so that means that you would be able to maintain your materials database completely outside of insight and it would be a, a columns and rows the columns would be the oxides the rows would be the materials and it's all maintained as percentage analyses rather than what insight maintains as Insight remembers materials as formulas. And then once you've got that, I, I haven't done it here. Uh, we'll save that for another lesson. Once that is done, then you would put that file into your Insight folder in your Documents folder. And then when you start Insight, it would appear here and it would say whatever you called it dot CSV and you would pick it. Insight would open it and it would remember that and it would continue to open it automatically in subsequent sessions actually there is one more method that is possibly better than all the ones that I've shown you so far now up until now we have been working in desktop insight and that is installed on my Windows computer but I can go to my online account at insightlive.com and this has the functionality of desktop insight but it all runs in an account online and I have access to it with any internet connected device that I have and I just go to my materials it says there's 1758 there I didn't put them in they're already in the system and so I just type 169 click search and there it is Johnson Matthew Frit 169 
ready to be put into materials. If I click right here, it's going to take me back over to this page to learn more about that material.